This is Adi Purawal for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. And I'm joined by former GB standout Dalton Smith over Zoom. Dalton, how are you doing? Not too bad. I'm all good. How about yourself? I'm all good, mate. It's good to catch up with you for first time this year. And um, you are one of the, the, the fortunate ones in some regards to be able to get out on the first show. Do you feel a, a sense of relief in being able to do so? Yeah, definitely. You know, obviously everything what's going on at the minute, being able to get out on one of the first shows of the year, um, you know, it's I, I'm happy and hopefully keep the momentum going and, um, you know, try and stay active this year. Now, Dalton, for as much of a relief as you may feel, it's also been a bit of a frustrating time for yourself. You had an opponent lined up in Lee Apple Yard who unfortunately tested COVID, uh, tested, uh, tested positive for COVID um, uh, about a, a week or so ago now. So obviously he misses out on the fight. Just kind of going back to that, how frustrating of a situation was that for you to find yourself in? Yeah, very frustrating, <clears throat> especially with two, two weeks out from a fight. And, you know, obviously it's one of those things. It's no fault of mine and or, or Lee's. But, you know, I thought it had been a very good fight. It's just, just, just one of those things. And, you know, we can't argue with it. So, you know, we moved on and we've got another opponent in now. So, you know, the fight's still going ahead. I've seen Lee tweet, you know, obviously he's frustrated. He's gutted for himself and he's, ho he's hopeful of your fight uh, going ahead. But he said that he'd love it to still happen, you know, a local derby between the pair of you maybe in the coming months. Is it still a fight you're interested in in maybe for like your next one, the one after that or something? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, it's a the Lee Apple Yard fight. It's not it's not one of those where it's it's got to be done now for my career, you know. It's it is a good fight in a local derby. So, you know, if my team think that that fight's still 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 a good fight for me, then you know, we can we can get it back on and you know. Get, get the fight back on. Now, you mentioned you've got a fight going ahead now, obviously that being Ishmael Ellis. What prompted you and your team to decide to step in with Ishmael? Well, well why did you decide to choose Ishmael as your next opponent rather to step in and replace uh, Lee Appleyard? Yeah, so the Lee Appleyard fell out then. We originally had Ben Fields. He pulled out and then, you know, we only found out like yesterday that Ishmael Ellis has um, stepped in. So, you know, it's a last minute opponent opponents and it's been frustrating. You know, we've we, we we've been put out there, we've asked loads loads of opponents and that's who we've ended up and Ishmael is is a is still is still a great opposition for me. So um yeah, he stepped in and you know, touch wood, everything was still planned and the fight's still still on. One hundred percent that is a matter of touch wood, uh Dalton. Just kind of with Ishmael, what are you expecting from him? What do you what have you kind of seen of him? To be honest, I'd not seen much on him, and I'd not seen him before. And then I got a call off my team, and my dad was like, "Oh, I think we've got Ishmael Ellis now." And I was like, "You know, I fight whoever my team put in front of me." So, you know, I've I've only, I've only seen one or two rounds on him. You know, he's, he's, he's he seems a decent fighter. So, you know, I I know I, I've trained hard. I'm in great condition. So I always expect the the best. Do you feel the pressure to? effectively put on a kind of a stunning performance with with shows just returning uh, for this year that is and when shows do return we only see maybe six seven fights on the cards whereas pre-pandemic you'd have over 10 on the cards do you feel the pressure to perform and to enhance your reputation i think as a fighter and you know having a label that you've been you're a top prospect there's always going to be um pressure there so i think every fight i have you, every every fighter's got pressure on them. They want to perform and, and look good and try and steal the show. Dalton, I know we've just briefly touched on a, a possible bout between you and Lee taking place further down the line this year because of the, the cancellation a couple of weeks ago. But aside from that, how do you see the rest of your 2021 playing out, provided all goes to plan next weekend? That's it. Obviously, it's, we've just got to take every each fight at a time and you know obviously I've got a fight fight next week and I've got that to get that out of the way first so you know I don't try and look too far ahead you know I know I've got a good team around me they're going to put you know the right fights in front of me at the right time and you know obviously I want to start pushing on towards the British next year you know try and get an eliminator towards the end of the year but obviously it's hard to say at the minute because with the with the pandemic and everything going on we've just got to you know go with the flow and see, see what happens. Dalton, I remember seeing over social media when he was around kind of the New Year periods when different boxing organisations were handing out awards and people involved in the sport were saying you know, who to look out for. You was a name that continued to get 
mentioned, whether he was winning an award or not, your name was in that circle and he was being mentioned. What do you take away from people kind of expecting to see you go on to the upper echelons of, of boxing? Obviously, it's, it's nice to see that and it shows like <clears throat> my hard work is paying off. And But I think obviously a lot of it is just hype and I'm still a baby in the game and, you know, you, it is nice to get the hype and the attention and stuff, but, you know, I'm still a baby in the game. I've got a lot to prove and, you know, obviously it shows that it's paying off and as long as I keep working hard, then, you know, th the results will come. Dalton, what's got you? Just want to touch on a couple of other things. Firstly, I want to ask you about kind of your team, you teaming up with STN Sports. Just kind of what made you prompt, what prompted the decision to team up with the guys there? Um, to be honest, I've always shown and shown O'Toole and Paul Reddy, who's you know the head of STN, and I, they've always guided my career from the start. So they, they've they've always done my career with with Sean O'Toole. You know, I had a good relationship with Sean in the amateurs. So so when I, when I turned over, I knew they was the right the right people to guide me. And you know that I think the setup they've got and the the structure they've got around STN, it's um, you know it's great. They've got the best interest in the fighters, and they do a great job. So. I mean, I'm in good hands with STN. I mean, Dalton, when you see, you know, kind of the work they did with Callum Smith in such a short amount of time to get that Canelo fight over the line, does that give you confidence moving forwards into the future that kind of uh, they was able to deliver a fight which Callum wanted for so long or certainly play their part in helping to deliver it, that they'll be able to do the same for you when you reach those levels? Of course, yeah. And I think that <clears throat> that's the reason why I'm with them as well. You know, obviously, they're, they're great people and <clears throat> it just shows... You know, obviously the Canelo fight, I think it was on five five weeks' notice. And, you know, to turn around on a big fight on that magnitude, you know, it shows um, how good they are. And I also want to touch on Charlie and Sonny Edwards. How are the two brothers looking in the gym? <clears throat> Always the same, you know, except the, the great talents, train hard. And, um, you know, I think Charlie's definitely got world more world titles in him and Sonny's soon to be a, um, a world champion in the gym as well. To your knowledge, Dalton, do either of them have anything kind of lined up or anything ready to announce? Oh, for the Edwards. Oh, for Edwards brothers, yeah. <laughs> um, I think they've got five dates, um, what they're ready to announce soon, but I don't think nothing's confirmed at the minute. Right, Dalton, we'll leave it there now. I know you've got to shoot off for go training, so I'm going to leave a final word to yourself ahead of next weekend. What would you like to say to everybody who will continue to follow your journey and watch you? Um, tune in because I'm going to put on a spectacular performance. <laughs> Dalton, it's been a pleasure to catch up with you for the first time this year. I'm no, I know it will not be the last. Good luck next weekend and I'll catch up with you soon. Thanks, Pete's Boxing Social. Nice one, Andy. Appreciate that. Thank you.